for videos of entertainment only, all sorts of materials and my videos are from the public domain and comply with the USA Fair Use and UK Fair Dealing Guide. Hi everyone, Count News here. So it seems that this guy, Charles Ross, the steward behind the campaign to rid the Sussexes of their titles, he has said that he was shocked that this took off and he only set it up because he was bored. It sounds really irresponsible to me. Also, a lot of people now that wanted the Sussexes to have their titles removed are realising that this Charles Ross is a Republican and wants the royal family out. He wants a Republic. So this was part of it. So he's. it seems as though he's fooled people into signing this petition because it wasn't really disclosed clearly. A lot of people weren't aware that it wasn't just about Meghan and Harry and their titles. He actually says here to the Daily Telegraph, I have been a long-standing Republican, but I didn't particularly take up the cause. I think I was bored one evening, if you want me to be honest. I started a petition and I didn't realise what a ball I would start rolling. I'm sure he could have stopped that at any time. And now he's joking about it. Somebody else is saying that the guy that started the petition needs to grow up. But I remember reading something else. I'm looking for it now where he actually said totally the opposite. He said that he was anti the monarchy and he wanted it would be how great it would be for the Council of Brighton and Hove to set a precedent and to be the ones to kickstart this um, call for removing of all the royals titles and the monarchy. So which is it? Was it a joke or was he trying to be clever and fool people and now has got to take the flack? There are also quite a lot of people upset that they weren't aware that this guy was calling for removal of all the titles and these people only wanted the Sussex's titles removed because of not being happy with what they've been doing or what they've not been doing and um, staunch supporters of the royal family and now they're so disappointed to find that they've been misled. I was very unsure about all this. And when I was sent emails asking me to help promote this, I didn't. I held back. I just didn't. I had a gut feeling not to. And um, I also didn't sign it. I didn't feel led to sign it. And it wasn't a cop out. It was a feeling that it seemed to me then with the way he was talking about the monarchy that it involved a lot of them and I wasn't about to do that. So, But I can see how so many people got misled into sharing this, passing it on and encouraging people to sign. But as I said in my last video, I don't think it's going to do anything. It's just got people talking about it and I, I don't think anything is going to happen from it. It doesn't look very good for the Sussexes. It's not very nice to have set a precedent for something so embarrassing and shameful, really. Right. Firstly, I would like to emphasise that in no way is my petition intended to be any sort of personal attack on Harry Windsor or Meghan Markle. Indeed, I respect his army service and her acting career. The principal reason for my petition is to make a stand for the fair and equal treatment of citizens in Sussex and Brighton. I would like to believe that all of you, whether Labour, Conservative, Green or Independent, went into politics because you believed in a fair society for all, where people are recognised and, re and rewarded for their efforts, talent and achievement. If you hold to these principles, how can it then be anything other than hypocrisy to fate and court people who are given titles, land and grand houses at birth? It is purely a game of chance. What if Prince Andrew was the Duke of Sussex or next in line to be king? Would you still be in favour of the monarchy? Are we still obedient serfs? Or are we ready as a forward-thinking town to throw out these perverse ceremonies and traditions which enshrine the class system and let many sleep in shop doorways while others sleep in palaces? I would hold no objection if Harry Windsor were to be invited to Brighton for his actions as a helicopter pilot in Afghanistan, but then call him Harry Windsor and not the Duke of Sussex. I believe that many of you will be tempted to throw this out of the council chamber, not for any moral reasons, but for a reasonable and justified fear of being hounded and bullied by the right-wing pro-royal press, and the fear that it might affect your future electoral chances. 
Whilst I would obviously make appeal to your moral integrity, I would also point out that there is a very strong Republican sentiment in the city of Brighton. For those who doubt that strong Republican sentiment, then look at the facts. This is the third most signed petition in the history of Brighton petitions. Nearly 4,000 people have signed it. The majority of Labour and Green voters oppose the monarchy. A poll of over 5,000 people in the Argus in September found that of those with an opinion, 61% supported this petition and only 38% opposed it. Let our citizens have a proper vote if you doubt it, the costs can easily be crowdfunded. This is an ideal opportunity to put this city on the map as a forward-thinking and modern city that rejects archaic and outdated feudal ceremony and doffing our caps to the aristocracy in favour of social justice and fairness for all. Indeed, it would be a fine honour and a proud moment if our good councillors would have the courage today to set Brighton on the path to being the first openly Republican city in the I United second. Kingdom. Thank you. And I will now call on Council. I will now call on Councillor Platt, and the leader of the council, to respond to the petition. Thank you, Madam Mayor, and thank you, Mr. Ross, for coming to the council today. I'm aware that there are passionately held views on either side of the argument about the monarchy, which are legitimate. However, that is not a matter for local authorities, and we obviously do not have the power to remove titles. That is a matter for the Crown. The Council has a number of pressing issues it has to prioritise, such as homelessness, the climate crisis, the effects of austerity, and ensuring the economic and social well-being of the city's residents. Although I would fully respect the views held by people on both sides of the argument, given the more pressing challenges we have, I do not believe it would be a proper use of Council time and resources to progress the proposals in the petition. I would therefore ask the Council to note the petition and thank Mr Ross for presenting it. Thank you. I now have Councillor Bell. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I appreciate there's been a lot of work and a lot of efforts and uh, in politics we must respect both sides of all arguments and we must show respect to both sides of all arguments. And I feel that this is something which, in this situation as well, it should be obviously well respected, but different people have different views. Um, I think it is quite clear from the recent weeks that there are different views held in and around Brighton and Hove than there are around the rest of Sussex. And I think we need to be mindful that the title which is given to them by the Queen, as been already said by the Leader of the Council, uh, is approximately 1.8 million. Now, I appreciate you've got nearly 4,000 here, but I feel for this to have sort of any strength or direction in which it needs to have some travel, then I feel that it needs to be obviously of a much wider uh, sample rather than just of 4,000 people in approximately 270,000 residents in Brighton and Hope. So I thank you for bringing this. I thank you for obviously the belief that you have. But um, as ourselves and we as Conservatives, we are very proud that we have a Duke and Duchess of Sussex and uh, we welcome them to our city at any time that they choose to come. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor McCafferty. Mm -hmm. Good work. Um, thank you very much, Madam Mayor, and congratulations on the petition. It's, it's a really fantastic petition. Um, I don't think um, it needs to be rehearsed in this place that our party has a very long standing tradition um, of supporting republicanism with a small r. I need to be careful saying that with this accent. Um, um, I think we, we, we have to recognise that 3,000 people have supported the petition um, and that then has triggered the threshold for the debate today. I think, I think we've noted it. My own personal preference would be that we send this on um, through the Council's decision-making structures 
um, to have a report on it and to try and understand what we can do as a council to recognise this discussion. I don't think that the, the rest of the council is with us, but I'm more than happy to, to with other colleagues here, to note the petition and, and to note um, some of the some of the content on it. Thank you. Thank you. Council Platts, do you wish to respond to the debate? Uh, thank you, Madam Member. No. I would like to thank Charles for presenting the petition and for attending the council meeting today. I will now put the recommendation to note the petition to the vote. We'll do a vote by show of hands. So those in favour? Thank you. Those against? Any abstentions? I can confirm that the petition has been noted. Reports of committees. Call over. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.